Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, girl. Looking, I'm looking kind of skinny, ain't I, girl? That's my hair up, making me look skinny. Anyway, it is time for another hair tutorial. I know it's been a while. This time, I'm gonna be going back to a sort of tried but true product for my washing goes the Echo Styler um, Green Top Olive Oil. And we're gonna be combining this with the generic curl defining cream. Now, I used to use Shea Moisture's curl defining cream along with this particular product, the Echo Styler, when I was, um, when I had TWA, but it's been a while. So you guys, I washed my hair yesterday. It is not, it is almost dry. And so what I'm gonna do, be doing is lightly misting my hair, separating my hair in smaller sections, and we're going to attempt a wash and go. Now, I haven't done a wash and go on my hair in this length. Yeah, it's, it's getting long in a very long time. Ooh, I'm already regretting my life choices right now. All right, so I'm gonna take the generic curl defining cream quite a bit for me and i'm going to smooth it through a large section of my hair okay and i'm going to separate that even more even smaller sections All right. And I'm gonna be using the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush to slightly detangle my hair because you don't want to be um, applying gel to your hair and basically locking it up when it's, um, when you're, yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of finger detangling and I'm gonna use, um, look at that. I haven't even added any gel. See my hair? So, I know Echo Styler can leave your hair dry and crunchy, but girl, it is what it is. I'm gonna go in with some gel from root to end, smoothing it all the way down. Really paying, paying it close attention to the ends too. Leaves it just a little bit more. So we're gonna be doing the raking method. Look at that. So you guys, this is what I'm going to be doing. Lightly misting my hair, applying the leave-in conditioner, detangling and adding the gel. Now I didn't add as much gel as I normally would because I'm not trying to have all this product sitting in my hair. I often find that with the wash and goes, especially if you're in the four type category, we are trying to manipulate our hair in a way to get curls that we don't really have. Um, so this is not my favorite hairstyle. Um, in particular, but it's something that I do every so often when I'm on the go and I don't really have a lot of time to set my hair in a style. So this is what we're gonna go for. Also, I found that with the wash and go, if you have multiple textures, like most of us do, it could be a little bit inconsistent. Excuse me, your results can be inconsistent. So yeah, you could either come out looking banging or looking like a deranged Muppet, whatever. So I'm gonna continue to set my hair in this style. It looks great. While it's wet, right? But we'll see what it looks like when it dries.
So I am just about done with my hair. What I'm going to do is take a blow dryer. I thought I would use the diffuser girl, but yeah, no. Um, I used it for about five minutes and just switched to the other attachment so that I could have more direct heat directly towards my roots. And so I find that with doing a wash and go outside of the shower one, um, my hair does dry. It can dry in one day. If I do it in the shower, it's going to take two or three days. The key to um, also making sure that it's, it's not as much frizz, which I still got a quite a bit frizz, is to set your hair and then don't touch it. So I try to shake the curls around and then allow it to air dry for the rest of the day. All right, so it is the next day, and what I did the night before is I set my hair in these little mini pineapples with goody stretchy bands. I did not apply a bonnet to my hair, you guys, because I do sleep on a silk, excuse me, a satin, girl. We ain't, we ain't get those type of coins. I sleep on a satin pillowcase, all right? And so I'm just going to gently take the goody bands out, and then I'm going to lightly mist my hair with water and shake my hair around, and we're just going to try to... Uh, style the hair to where I don't get as much frizz. Alright you guys, this is it. I am done. Not really feeling the front. That's okay. Hey, it is what it is. The good thing about a wash and go is that you could always put it up in a puff, a side puff. You can hide the imperfections. Yeah, that back, something's going on, but... <laughs> That is it, girl. I put on this cute little dress, put on some makeup, and I'm making it work out. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. Take care. Bye.